Hey everyone, Russ here. What is high risk and low reward? Unaccompanied minors. Stick around in the video and we'll talk about it. That's right, unaccompanied minors are high risk and low reward. It's not worth your time. So welcome back to the channel. On this channel, the Rust Ride channel, I'll give you tips on how to improve your rideshare services. Hey, how's it going? I'm Russ. What is your name? Hi, I'm Bob. Hi, Bob. Welcome. How is your day going? Good. I just got out of class. Oh, wow. What subject was it? Oh, math. Oh, wow. Typical high school math. What? High school? Oh, no. Oh, sir, uh, when you get a chance, don't forget your seatbelt. And if you like, um, for your drinks, you, there's a thing you can pull down there in the center. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, it looks like it's going to take about 15 minutes to get to your destination. That's no problem. Okay. Oh, come on, Russ. You were slipping there. Don't give in like that. Uh, excuse me, sir. You're trash. Are you gonna tell on me? You'll get deactivated. Oh, yeah, good point. Anytime there's a minor in your vehicle, what can I say? What can I do? I'm at risk of getting deactivated because of violating Uber and Lyft's terms of service. We'll just get to our destination as quickly as possible. Bob, really, what's going on here? Are you okay? Are you gonna tell on me? You'll get deactivated. All right, Bob, it looks like we've reached your destination. Go out there and have a great day. Okay, thank you. Oh, you left your water bottle. Really? Like I said, you'll get deactivated. Hello, everyone. How did that ride go? Well, you can see I didn't do a good job of asking for ID. And once the miner's in the vehicle and they reveal, oh, I was in my high school class, I should have canceled the ride right then and let the passenger out safely. Because if I'm violating Uber and Lyft's terms of service of transporting an unaccompanied minor, anything that happens is going to be on me. Guaranteed I'm going to get deactivated. So what does that tell you about complaining when they're throwing trash back there, leaving uh, crumbs on the floor, misbehaving in general? Can I really call up Uber and Lyft and complain? Because then it'll come down to, oh, was that an unaccompanied minder? You're deactivated. Well, that's not going to be a good thing. Another far more serious issue than getting deactivated is what if I'm in an accident? and that minor gets hurt. What if Bob gets hurt back there? Well, his parents are gonna sue me and it'll be on my personal insurance. Um, because I violated the terms of service with Uber or Lyft, they're not gonna be as helpful. So I'm putting all that risk on myself for what? Five, 10, $20? Is that really worth that ride for Bob back here coming back from high school? I don't think so. So carefully consider that. Don't give rides to unaccompanied minors. They have to have an adult, someone 18 or older with them. Like what Dustin is driving coaches us on constantly. Wait five, cancel, collect, and drive. Your time is worth money. And just because that minor requested a ride and they're not allowed to travel, that doesn't mean you work for free. So go ahead, wait that five minutes for the cancellation fee. Cancel the ride if they don't before you and then go ahead and move on to that next ride. Don't look back, don't worry about it. Um, definitely you can report it to Uber and Lyft um, and, and check that box, unaccompanied minor. All right, thank you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, don't forget to go to rustride.com and check out more tips. Thanks a lot.